Good morning, friends. Look through the magic of editing. I'm going to show you how this birdhouse came out, how it turned out. And if you'll bear with me for a minute, I wanted to thank everyone who is part of my Facebook page, Upcycle with Decoupage because I had posted a video on there a couple of weeks ago stating how I broke my elbow. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And not, I don't care so much about how it looks. It's just been so restrictive. And for the first couple of weeks, I couldn't even move my hand backward or forward because of the particular bone that broke. So, Thank you for sticking with me. I am going to attempt my first video in about three weeks, three or four weeks. I think I can do it. I am going to be working with both hands today. I haven't been able to use this one to cut, to paste. I still cannot open jars. So I'm going to be asking my husband to help me in those instances, which I won't post on here but I did want to let you know that's where I've been so with all of that said let's get started the first thing that I want to tell you is you want to use this product so my mother-in-law had a birdhouse hanging outside of her house off the back patio in a tree that was exposed to all the elements and she had it painted and the paint stayed on forever and I asked her how she did that and she said that she used a multi-purpose sealer and I already applied that to this it does something to the wood it preps it it keeps the anything that you're putting over it it helps it adhere you just shake it up and you can apply it just as it is I don't see there's a little bit of a shine but I covered the whole surface in this and now I'm going to start to decoupage. Now I'm going to be using something to brighten things up a little bit. I'm going to be using this lemon themed napkin. And because the background color of the napkin is white, I'm going to paint the rooftop and wherever else I'm putting this napkin. And I'm using the color called Cotton Ball by Deco Art Paints. I'll have links below to all of the supplies you'll need. And I'm using a yellow color here to match as closely as I can the lemon color in the napkin. So I'm going to now paint the sides with this and let it dry and then I'll come right back. So now that I have everything painted, I'm going to decoupage over this part and this part. And I'm using the Americana napkin decoupage glue and I'll have links to these products down below the video. But I want to mention something. I get questions, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, asking me why a project didn't come out well. And I hate to say it, but the same problem keeps happening and people will say, I'm using Mod Podge. I have said this for a long time, Mod Podge is really not the way to go for napkin decoupage. As a matter of fact, I don't like it for decoupage at all. <laughs> so I really do recommend that you go with the Americana napkin decoupage glue. And I want to separate the napkin. And I'm going to line it up with my surface. What I want to do is very carefully, because this is a small, flat, almost flat space, I want to take my brush, dip it in the napkin decoupage glue, and very gently, I'm going to go from, and I'm see how I'm holding the napkin? I'm kind of pulling it out a little so it's straight going to start in the center and press down enough to flatten the napkin but I don't want to tear it 
and I am going to continue from the center out. Keep loading that brush because if the brush gets dry or it drags at all, it will tear your napkin. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. Make sure that brush is loaded with the napkin decoupage glue. Center. So this is an instance where a heavy hand comes in handy because we want this first coat to go right through the napkin and it just happens to be sealing it and gluing it down to our surface. And I overlapped deliberately because when this dries, I'm going to take a nail file or a piece of sandpaper and sand that off. And I'm just going to work on one side at a time so that I don't tear anything or mess it up. So I'm going to let this dry. And if you'd like this to dry faster, you can put it in an oven. I would not recommend going over, I would, I would keep it at about 250 degrees. And I'll put this in a cold oven. I'll set the oven to 250. You can do 300, just you don't want to burn your paper and some ovens have different temperature ranges. So I'm going to put this in the oven just to make this go a little bit quicker, the drying, so I can move on to the rest of the video. When the oven dings to let me know it's reached 250, I'm going to turn it off and leave this in there to cool down with the oven. So then in about half an hour, I'll take it out and it'll be dry and we'll be ready to work on the next side. You do not have to do that. I'm just doing that for the sake of the video. But one other thing, when you put this in the oven, the heat causes any wrinkles that you may have to kind of melt and smooth out. So you have a better chance of not having a wrinkly surface. I took this out of the oven after about 15 minutes and I'm using this 220 grit but and I am just moving this in one direction. You see I'm going downwards. The reason for that is you don't want to pull these edges away. That's really important when you're decoupaging. So for every angle that I have to file away. I'm just going in one direction and I'm going away from the napkin so that I don't pull it away from the surface. decoupaged a little bit of the napkin onto the paper plate and then I'm trying to blend this color with these two paints and I'm trying to get as close of a color match as I can to the leaves in the lemon 
and I'm using this pouncer. I don't know where I got this pouncer. I keep trying to find it in art supply stores and I sometimes have luck in the independent stores. It's not that easy to find, but you can use any sponge or a pouncer to do this. And I just took this large household sponge I got in the Home Depot and cut it up just to show you what else you can use. Now, this is the birdhouse. Before I get over to the edges, which is why I just mixed the paint, I'm going to just tear out little pieces with this aqua pen so that I can decoupage them on the front of my birdhouse. And since we've used the white color in the background, we don't have to apply a whole piece of the napkin. We can just take out small little pads. And I apologize that the audio quality keeps changing in this video. Sometimes the dogs start barking. My husband's coming in and out. There's questions, there's phones, and a lot of noise. But rather than interrupt the video, I just kept the camera rolling, muted it, and said I'll go back and edit it tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish up the front here. I'm putting on a few pieces. I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it dry and then I'll come right back. Now that this is dry I'm taking a nail file and I'm going around the inside just to get rid of this excess paper around the center. I can't I tried to go in one direction here but it's too hard so I just went in two directions just to get rid of that center piece of the paper and I'll put a little uh, extra top coat on when I'm going around that part. Now I'm taking these two mixed paints and if you've done any one stroke painting you're probably a little familiar with this but I'm just going to blend these as well as I can and I don't want too much of it on that pouncer. So I've blended it and now I'm just going along the corners because I'm doing a little bit of shadowing or a little bit of shading just to give this birdhouse a little bit more character. So I'm going to do this around all of the edges. And I'm also going to take my toothbrush that's used just for crafting and I'm going to take these same colors and I'm going to splatter them over the outside of the bird cage. You want to load your brush up first and then splatter some off before you attempt to do this on your project. You don't want too much of that splattering on the bird cage, just a small subtle amount. Bird house, sorry. put some triple thick over the top of this. I had to put the triple thick in this vitamin C container because it was a lot easier for me. It's still not easy, but it's a lot easier for me to flip this lid rather than open uh, any jars. So I keep this in here and I'm going to apply the triple thick because I want a very rich high gloss. And the triple thick works really well as an adhesive for glitter. Since this is staying on the inside of my house, actually I'm keeping it in the garage because little birds get in there during the early spring. I think they fly under this tiny space we have under the door and they go into all the little bird houses that I had out there in storage and they started making homes and we'd have little chicks flying around which is okay. So I am not worried about this outside. If you would like to know what to use on this in order to make it waterproof and weatherproof, you, you can go over to my Upcycle with Decoupage page on Facebook, click like and follow, and then just ask me any questions you may have and I will let you know how to uh, easily make this waterproof. So that is our birdhouse. That's our project for the week. I'm so excited to be back. I hope I get a good report from the doctor. By the way, don't mind the garbage can down there in the frame. This was the sunniest spot I could find to show you how pretty this little birdhouse looks. And our neighbors tend to keep their empty trash cans out there for days at a time. So sorry about that being in the shot. 
Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. Don't forget to go over and like the page. Thank you for any comments you may leave me. I can normally get back to you the first one or two days if you leave comments here down on uh, YouTube. After that, I read the comments, but I can't get back to everyone because there's, there's just too many videos, so I apologize for that. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm trying to get up to 100,000 subscribers, so if you can kind of share this video anywhere possibly that you you can share it on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube. I'm sure I'm forgetting one of the big ones. Twitter. Sorry about that. Uh, that would be a big help to me. And in the meantime, thank you for all of your lovely comments and you guys checking in with me on Facebook and understanding about my elbow. These things happen. I really could not take three or four weeks of not doing, the doctor said six to eight weeks of not doing any artwork or decoupage. So at least I was able to get this product uh, project out. I'm very happy about that. I will see you guys hopefully next week with another video, unless the doctor says, stop doing what you're doing. You're messing something up. Uh, hopefully that won't happen. But I will let you know when you uh, click like and follow on Facebook, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out through Facebook. So that's a big help for both of us. Thanks a lot, my friends. I will see you next week. And hopefully this brings us all a little bit closer to springtime. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.